Yeah, the baby decided that today is going to be the day. Well, it is the summer, but he, he's he's coming a little bit sooner than we expected. He or she. Oh, he or she. Yeah, he or she. Yeah. So he's going to come out right now? Well, we don't really know exactly what time, but sometime today or tonight. So you so you get to have your sleepover with Grammy like you wanted. He's like, sleepover, bye. Are you there? Did you push a button on accident? Push the microphone button. Can you hear me now? Oh. I can hear you. Okay, good. So you get to have your sleepover with Grammy, okay? Uh, I know. I, I, I want to tell you something. It was, it's lunchtime, but we, but we can't get pizza because they don't serve pizza at lunchtime. So we went to get some 7 Eleven. I wanted to buy my scooter, but I fell on the sand. Anyway, see you later. Bye. I love you. Okay. <laughs> I love you too. I love, love you. you. It is June 30th, and I came in for my um, serlage, my cervical stitch removal. Oh, I'm on a ball right now. Um, and I was at a three yesterday. They removed the stitch, but my water broke like at the top or something like that, so it was like leaking. I'm at like a four to five right now, where I was a couple hours ago. So they admitted me. We're having a baby today. Probably today, it's one o'clock. She must be the sunlight Shines a little more tonight I know I tried To make her mine But at the same time I know love So I would say this is the birthday today, most likely. Derek just ran home to get stuff because we were gonna pack a bag last night. And we were like, nah, if we pack a bag, that means we're gonna stay. But then I was like, if we don't pack a bag, we're gonna stay. So we didn't pack a bag. 36 weeks and two days. So I'm two days further along than I was with Trayson. Um, my contractions are like two to three minutes apart, she said. Nothing I can't handle, just really uncomfortable. My wishes are to do it natural, so we're going for that. And I really wanted to make it to the birthing center, but you have to be 37 weeks, so I'm five days shy of that. But they are doing everything that they would try and do in a birthing center, so like, they're gonna get a wireless monitor on me that's waterproof. I can go in the shower. Um, I don't have to be like laying down to give birth if I don't want to. I'm on the ball right now. She showed me all these different positions like to push. They have a squat bar for me. They have a diffuser going. She's like, do you like diffusers? I was like, yeah. She's like, let me get one going for you. I'm like, you're incredible. She's a really good nurse. So I feel good. Ketchup is coming. It's so weird. It seems really surreal. It's been so long since we've had a baby. But I'm so excited to meet you. I don't know what you are. We don't really have a name yet. We have a few. We're like going in between. And I'm just like praying and knowing that like 36 weeks and two days, we're, it's okay, we're fine. I got a steroid shot to hopefully help with like lungs for the baby and hopefully avoid everything that happened with Trayson. So yeah, Jarek ran home to get some stuff and I'm eating the best ice ever here. And just staying mobile and working through it, so. Yeah, one o'clock. I'm guessing 
I'm guessing, so if this nurse's shift ends at seven, I would really like her to be here for it because she's been incredible. Um, so I'm hoping in the next six hours, so she's still here. Do this. I don't know. <laughs> it's so hard to say. Right okay, it's who's announcing? You. Right. Announcing? Like what is it? Okay. Like, yeah, what it is? Baby boy, girl. If I can get it out. That's <laughs> for you. Okay. Okay. We'll put baby right up on top of you. Yeah. And then uh, it just depends. Okay. Almost there. A girl dad and stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Currently eating cookies, Ooh. nursing, and syringe feeding. This little nugget. Daddy is taking a quick shower. It's 1.30 in the morning. I feel so good. I feel so, so good. We have a double bed. What? What? Pretty crazy. It's been a really good day, even though I was pretty stressed out when we first got here to do the surgery. Everything went really well and just kind of escalated. And we got this little one here, June 30th. So crazy. Yeah. That's better. Just like that. Good morning. It's just a girl's day. Yeah. Oh, it's a girl's day. Daddy just ran back home to see the boys and swim with them for a little bit. Um, it's actually almost wood, but um, we are doing really good. It has been a crazy, not even 
Yeah, like 24 hours. We got yelled at for like filming, so we only have like the beginning of like everything going on. But uh, the rundown is Tuesday, I went into my 36 week OB appointment. I was 36 week in one day and they were taking the stitch out. The stitch normally can come out in the office. I don't need to have a procedure done like I had to when I got it put in. She said it was really embedded into like the wall of my cervix or something and I was already dilated to a three and she thinks because I was dilating it like tore a little. We have to remove it in the hospital tomorrow. I think I said this all the other day, I don't know. Um, but she's like, I need to be in the hospital setting with tools and everything so I can remove it. Otherwise, we don't want your cervix to be ripped to smithereens. Me neither. Me neither. So we um, come in at 7 a.m. Surgery is supposed to be at 8.30 to have it removed. And I'm like sitting on the table. They put the spinal in. And before they even like did anything, my legs were like full force in the air, you know, just the vagina wide open. And she's like, oh, I think we're having a baby today. And I was like, oh, why? She's like, I think your water just broke. I was like, oh, well, I guess we are. So they removed the stitch, they were able to get that out. And then she was like, we have to do a swab and see if it was amniotic fluid. And then she came back and was like, yeah, it is. So, like, we're not going to stop you um, from going into labor. And I'm like, oh, I'm only 36 weeks and two days. Like, I had Trace in the 36 weeks. He was in the NICU. It's been my biggest, like, stressor this whole time. This nurse, oh my god. She actually just called me that was on, like, rotation that name that day. Her name's Danielle. If you're at St. John Providence in Southfield. You're an angel. She's like literally the best. I'd be friends with her like outside of this situation. You know when you meet people like that. She was like, I'm gonna get you a room because there was a woman delivering in triage last night. I was like, oh no, I'm not doing that. So she got me a room really quick. And I was like, you know, I really wanna try and have this naturally if possible, like, etc. So she's like, all right, I'm gonna get a pump start stimulating, I'm gonna get you a bouncing ball, I'm gonna, she was just like getting all the things, cause she was like, I'm gonna get you a fan, because there's only one fan left, and I gotta get this room for you, otherwise it's probably gonna fill up tonight, I'm like, okay, checked in to the room, and then I actually had a really cool wireless waterproof monitor, instead of being hooked up to like all the cords and stuff, which is like what I didn't want. I did not want to be hooked up if possible. So we like walked around, I did squats, I like pumped to get like nipple stimulation going and um, I basically was at like a five for a long time and with Pitocin and it was making it like so unbearable. Um, I would also was, I had already had a spine all that day and surgery that day so I was tired and I was like I can't do this for much longer you know I wanted to try a natural and I've I've tried <laughs> like I'm tapping out so I was like can I get an epidural so I think I ordered it or like said I wanted it by 7 30 and they were in the room they were in the room and I got it by 8 30 8 45 8 30 they checked me at 8.45 and they were like, I was like, I think the head's right there. Like, I feel a lot of pressure. And she was like, can you roll over on your side? She was like, the doctor is like two minutes away. But like, don't push because you'll literally have this baby. I'm like, okay. So, um, she got in. And then a couple pushes and um, I had her at 9.01. So like literally... 10 15 minutes after I got the um called epidural, I think my body just like relaxed and literally went from a five to a nine or ten or whatever. I was like, We're good, we're good, let's go. So, I don't know if it would have progressed that fast if I didn't get the epidural, who knows, but it was fine. I'm very happy with how everything turned out. 
most importantly, she's been with us the whole time. She hasn't had to go to the NICU. I asked the nurse today because I never heard, but her APGAR, APGAR scale or whatever was an eight to nine, so like really good. Um, they put her on my chest right away and she like was trying to look, you know, like, like a baby bird was like trying to look to nurse and she like latched pretty good right away. Everything has just been so good considering everything that we've been through for this pregnancy and I'm just so grateful for it. You know, like I had a miscarriage in March of 2020, then I had surgery in August of 2020 that they thought was cervical cancer. It wasn't thankfully. Then I got pregnant in like November. They told me I really shouldn't be pregnant because of having the surgery. My cervix probably won't like hold the pregnancy. Then they put me on meds and I was on pelvic rest since like 16 weeks. Then I had the stitch put in at like 20, 22 weeks. I can't remember. Constant appointments. It's just been a lot. And then I was like stressed out thinking like, oh, I have to have surgery now to remove the stitch, which they had said it was a really easy removal. Knowing that my water broke and she was coming early. I was just, it's been a whirlwind and I'm just so happy and grateful that it's turned out the way it is. Um, and the craziest part of it all is that it was a girl the whole time. I am so happy we did a surprise. I just, even if it was a boy, like it's just, it was so exciting. Um, when they asked like, who do you want to announce it? And I was like, I want Jarek to announce it. And he was like, it's a girl. I'm like, what? Oh my God, like this is crazy. We really thought it was a boy. We had no girl named picked out. I don't, I bought like all like boy stuff pretty much. It's all like pretty gender neutral, but um, it was just so crazy. So, so crazy. And this was like, you know, the completion to our family, regardless of the gender. And it's just like, it's so nuts. It's so crazy. But like I said, I'm just happy that the end result was a healthy baby, no NICU. She's got big chubby cheeks like Skylar had. She is, or she was born 7.1 pounds, which is big for a 36 weeker, just like Drayson was. Basically, we're told today by the birth, not birth control, birth certificate people. They had called and was like, do you have a name yet? I'm like, oh, I don't know. And she was like, well, if you don't have one picked out yet, um, you can still like leave the hospital and, and like, but you have to go through the state of Michigan and it's kind of like a long process. And I was like, no, 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 we'll figure it out. So we actually picked the name that was like our top name for a boy we're using it for her because I really like boy names for girls to begin with. And so her name is Jude Avery. Jude Avery, huh? Little baby Juju with the chunky cheeks. She has so much of Tracen in her. And then the cheeks are just like Skylar. I am just very happy. Everything's been good and I just like it's so nice to not have like my pelvic pain or my hip pain it just feel really good like I just feel really good and and my mom is getting married in a couple weeks so we will all be there for it which is like so nice my brother's coming into town with his girlfriend um it'll just be so nice because I was worried that I was gonna miss it <laughs> I really thought like I'd be having a baby around that time so thank you again for love and support. Good morning. It is July 2nd and we're going home. All the car seat and heart and all the tests that were done were good. Jerk is just going to bring some bags down and then we're gonna meet him down there. We're good to go home. It's Amy's birthday today. Happy birthday, Amy. <sighs> we are so tired. Last night was really rough. She just like nursed, wine, nursed, wine, nursed, wine, nurse, 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 poop, peed, wine, nurse, didn't sleep, <laughs> which was expected, but I was very tired. Oh, okay. So we just really want to be at home in our own setting. I want to shower. I feel gross. I feel gross. You ready? Just look out. 
second. Driver, take us home. That's all you gotta do, okay, Jude? Support person. <laughs> Let's ride. Support person, take us home. Hi, this is your big brother, Trayson. I love you a lot, and I hope you have an amazing time with me. I can't wait to see you. I think you are an amazing person. Love, Trace. This is my little sister. It's your little sister. How old are you gonna be soon? Eight. Eight, oh my gosh. Mm-hmm.